Jenny, come on. You're going to miss it. Tell them to start without me. I need to check on Marie. She'll be fine. You don't need to check on her every five minutes. Come on, it's starting. <sighs> okay, you're right. For the best part of my later years, I worked as a private investigator. I'd seen many a terrible case. Sadly, most of them unresolved. But in 1954, something terrible and far closer to home happened that I could not avoid. And it happened right here, in Daily View. The police are here. What on earth is all the commotion? Now, where's my camera? I need to see what's going on outside my window. Now, I can get a closer look. is all the commotion. Might have to zoom in for a closer look. Well, that's Tony Morgan's blood. My God, I, I, I hope he's all right. Please let him be all right. Bound during a production. Dear God, Charlotte May, Mr. Morgan's daughter, has been kidnapped.
smashed the palm pod. I, I must have slipped through it. I should have come to my window sooner. I wonder if Catherine is with them. I'm not zoomed in enough to see. Theodore and Annabelle McKee, I believe. I really should get to know my neighbors better. Harold Levy owns most of the flats in Daily View. I wonder if he saw something. Shirley Downs. She runs the crow's nest. Her office overlooks the courtyard. A kidnapping right on my doorstep. Who doesn't bear thinking about? Imagine if it was Catherine. Time to pay my neighbors a visit and see what they know. Charlotte May could only be seven or eight years old. Why would someone want to take her? It doesn't make any sense. Hello, Mr. Conway. Good evening. Terrible what's happened, isn't it? So you know what happened. They're looking for a kidnapper. A search is about to start in the Pine Woods. My sister, Shirley. She owns the pub across the way. The searchers are all meeting there first. What do you know about the kidnapping, Mr. Conway? Not much. That's why I'm talking to the pair of you. You should talk to the old busybody over in her big manor house. Mrs. Doer. She knows everything that goes on here. 
I wouldn't be surprised if she saw the kidnapper. I wouldn't be surprised if she was the kidnapper. That's an awful thing to say. Well, have you seen her? Always fawning over that little girl. All alone in that big house. Plenty of room to hide someone. I can see that you've put a lot of thought into this, Mrs. McKee. A little too much, love. Well, I'm not the only one who thinks it. Oh, blast. What time is it? Uh, it must be a little after midnight by now, surely. The search is starting without me. I have to get my coat. Uh, you'll forgive me, Mr. Conway? Uh, yes, good night. Good night, Mr. Conway. Uh, we'll talk again soon. Way, may I have a moment? Do you know what's happened? Never mind all that. Your daughter is a police officer, is she not? She is. Here, I found this. What's this, then? A brooch. I found it on the floor here. It probably belonged to that poor girl. Thought I'd better pick it up before Shirley Downs gets her mitts on it. What do you mean by that? Never mind. Perhaps you can make sure it finds its way to your daughter. I will. And thank you for telling me. Just doing my duty. Can you tell me what you meant about Shirley? Good night, Mr. Conway. Did you see anything else at all? Just make sure to give your daughter that brooch. It never fails to amaze me what some people are capable of. Miss Downs, do you have a moment? I'm, I'm sorry. What, what did you say? I can come back if you need some time. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm just... I can't believe this is happening so close to home. Well, maybe I can. What do you mean by that? Not everyone in Daily of You is as they seem, Mr. Conway. Uh, Miss Downs, who are you referring to? That son of a bitch right there, with the smug look on his face. Uh, Mr. Levy? <laughs> Why not? I mean, what do you really know about him? Well, I pay him my rent once a fortnight, but no other than that. I didn't really speak to the man. Well, sadly I do. He's up to something. You must have noticed all the strange deliveries coming and going at night. You think he took Charlotte May? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sorry. Uh, Miss Downs, uh, what are you basing this on? Experience, Mr. Conway. You'll excuse me, I, I need to help the police with their search.
Uh, good evening, Mr. Levy. Evening. How strange times we live in when a girl can be taken on your doorstep. You ain't wrong. It's a bloody mess. Did you see what happened at all? No. Uh, how well did you know Charlotte May? You lived next door. You must have seen her a lot. I hope they're going to clean all this mess up tonight. I've got a business to run. I'm sure this must be a great inconvenience to you. Huh. That reminds me. Rent day tomorrow. Don't be late. I haven't forgotten. Good. Keep it that way, and we'll get along just fine. May I ask what you were doing tonight? No. Oh, there's Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan must have taken quite a hit. Hello, Mr. Morgan. My name is Robert Conway. I live in flat 23. Yes, uh, I've seen you around, Mr. Conway. Well, you see, I thought I'd better come over and check you're okay. Some of our neighbors seem to be content just to stare. I'm so sorry to hear about your daughter. Very kind of you. I'm sorry, but I'm late joining the search. I've been talking to the police for over an hour. Of course, I understand. The police officer you spoke to was most likely my daughter. Is that so? Yes, she's a very determined young lady. If anyone is going to find your daughter, it's her. I was once a private investigator myself, so I know how her mind works. Well, it's comforting to know I'm surrounded by such competent minds, Mr. Conway. I'd like to offer my services too, if you'd permit me. That's very kind, but I, I don't have money, I'm afraid. Oh, Mr. Morgan, no. I'm a father myself. I meant to say that I'm at your disposal. Very generous, but the police said that... All I'd be doing is observing and talking to people. And if I find anything, I'll be sure to share it with Catherine. Catherine? Uh, my daughter, the police officer. Right, of course. Oh, that reminds me. I have this brooch. Does this mean anything to you? That's Charlotte Mays. Oh, you see how the simplest detail can be overlooked. Even by the police. Best to have as many eyes on the case, in my experience. Oh, I see your point. May I have it back, please? Would you mind if I kept onto it for a day or so, in case it proves to have some use? Y yes, of, of course. If you think it would help. I would very much like you to return it, though. As soon as I have something to report back to you. You have my word. So, where do you suppose you'd begin? Well, right here. In Daily View? Yes. It's my experience that it's usually someone who knows the victim. Do you mean to tell me that one of my neighbours has my girl? No, 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 I'm merely saying that it's a logical place to start. Now I see. That's why the police search my house. Because I'm a suspect, I suppose. Well, that's the way it works, I'm sorry to say. So they're not even looking for the real kidnapper? I can assure you they will be. Tell me, Mr. Conway. And be honest, are you going to look for my girl? I promise you, I'll stop at nothing until I find her. For now, I need you to think of anyone who could have taken Charlotte May. I don't know. Think, anyone or anything at all. Mr. Conway, who do you know who could do such a thing? I see your point. Well, for now... Perhaps try to get some rest. Charlotte May needs you to be strong for her. You'll excuse me, Mr. Conway. I'm going to join the search and find my little girl. That's fair enough, Mr. Morgan. Good night, and good luck.
Good night, Mr. Conway. So the kidnapper smashed this during the altercation. Dad? Uh, Catherine. I thought I might bump into you tonight. Well... I shouldn't be here, what with you living so close. Conflict of interest and all. Are you finished here? Almost, yes. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. It's poor Charlotte May I'm worried about. Anyway, look at you. I rarely get to see you in your uniform. You look good. Thank you. I wish it was a little more comfortable. Catherine, can I ask, what have you found? I'm not allowed to tell you. You know that. Besides, I don't have all the details myself, and my sergeant isn't exactly forthcoming with new recruits. Hang in there. You're an asset. They'll come to see how intelligent you are. Thank you. All I can say is that it looks as though Tony Morgan's daughter has been kidnapped. Awful news. May I ask why they're searching the Pinewoods? Do they know where the kidnapper went? No. It's a dead end. We're clueless, but we can't be seen to be doing nothing. And the locals suggested the woods, so... Dear God. I perhaps wonder if I should talk to my neighbours again. Hang on. Again? Yes, Catherine. I've been thinking, and... Dad! What? I know this is happening on your doorstep, but please, don't get any ideas. I'm a naturally curious person, you know that. You don't do this anymore. Leave it to us, please. Well, do the police have any ideas? Dad, I mean it. Don't get involved. Well, I'd like to help you. I want to do this on my own. I I didn't realize what this means to you. I meant to say, I want to do it the right way. By the book? Please promise me. Okay. I, I promise. I'll leave the police work up to you. Thank you. Anyway, I'd better be off. I have to make a statement before the morning press. My sergeant is finally trusting me with something. Well, you'd better hurry. I'll look out for your article in the morning paper. Right. I'm off. Please go back inside. You'll catch a chill. Night, my love. Night, Dad. The last thing I want is to upset Catherine. I can tell how serious she is about her case. I've never seen her so driven. I suppose I'll still develop the photos I've taken of the crime scene. I might have captured something that the police did not. And I won't be stepping on Catherine's toes if I stay in my flat and out of the way. The police have marked out several pieces of evidence that are likely related to the attack. However, Mrs. Doer handed me a brooch that was found at the scene. Mr. Morgan later confirmed it belonged to Charlotte May. Could the brooch be a missing piece of the puzzle? I wonder if finding where the brooch was dropped could help build a better picture of the attacker's movements.
So, if Mrs. Dill was right about where she found the brooch, it means the kidnapper must have come past her manor house at some point during the abduction. Oh, I forgot to give Catherine the brooch. There just hasn't been a good time. Oh, it sounds like I have mail. I should check what that mail was through my door. Now what's this? Mr. Morgan's note implicates most of his neighbors. I had suspected as much, but now I have something solid to work with. Catherine has asked me not to get involved, but I've already promised Mr. Morgan I'll find Charlotte May. I should have told Catherine there and then. I'm already involved. I can feel it again, that drive, that first pull at the yarn. It's all on this evidence board. Suspects, victims, items found at the scene. I have everything. All that remains is to watch over my neighbors until one of them makes a mistake. And I can still give Catherine her space. If the whole town is searching the pine woods, someone needs to keep an eye over daily view. I've been sitting watching my neighbors on and off for hours, but I've seen nothing of any use for my evidence board. Tony Morgan suggested that the McKees were acting strangely around Charlotte May. I heard Theodore return home earlier this evening, but didn't manage to get a glimpse. Charlotte May is counting on me to find her, but so far I've drawn a blank. Perhaps the McKees are innocent. Only time will tell. Annabelle and Theodore seemed normal enough when we spoke last night. By their account, they didn't see much at all. Why would Mr. Morgan ask me to watch them? He seems quite eager to talk. Hmm. Theodore looks unhappy about... I don't know what. He's pacing back and forth. It seems heated. I 
I still have no idea what the problem is. Perhaps this is what Mr. Morgan was talking about. And now, Annabelle is... Uh, Annabelle has seen something just out of my view. Whatever it is, she's horrified by it. What on earth is it? What are you thinking, Annabelle? What can you see? She's got a knife. Oh, Jesus, she's going to... No. She wants Theo to use it. He doesn't know which one to use. Theo, don't do it. Whatever it is, take pause of yourself. Theodore is carrying the mallet. Whatever is in that pantry, it's alive. It can't be Charlotte May. Can it? Theo, who are you talking to? Is that a practice swing? Dear God. What have I just witnessed? Some time has passed since I saw Theo hit something with a mallet. I didn't actually see anything. No proof. I have no evidence at all. Annabelle is back at the door. Okay, hurry. Go. Go! What in God's name? Shit! What are you doing? Well, if you would help me... I'm not touching that thing. That thing was your idea. My idea? I'm doing. Hurry up. <clears throat> Mr. 
Mr. Morgan. Hello, Annabelle. Lovely evening. Uh, yes, I suppose so. Please, if, if you don't mind, I have something... It's just also sad, isn't it? Please, I really do need to be going. I'm so sorry, of course. It, it's fine, Annabelle. So you look at Theodore, ask him what's wrapped in that rug. Damn it, what should I do? Catherine asked me not to get involved. But, but this... It's not over until it's over. I think I need to pay the McKees a personal call. I've barely slept at all. I can't fully explain what I observed last night, and I can't shake the image of Charlotte May in the McKee's pantry, lying there, helpless. My old case files. Some I'd rather forget. All set up and ready to go. Now, to gather some evidence from the McKees. Oh, these are developing nicely. I'll need my bag if I'm going to gather any real evidence. It's not much to go on as of yet. I'll see to that. Now, to find out what the McKees were doing in that pantry. I'm looking forward to seeing this with Catherine. I just hope they have somewhere to help me in the venue with my chair this time.
the McKees really did kill Charlotte May last night, then there must be some evidence left in their pantry. I wonder if there's anything left to find at all. What if I'm too late? Bleach. The McKees have been busy. Hello? Hello, Mrs. McKee. We spoke a few days ago. Yes. Uh, please call me Annabelle. Annabelle, of course. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get around to you. That's fine. I'm sorry, how is it I can help Mr. Conway? Well, it's all a bit sensitive, I'm afraid. I, I wondered if I might have a word in private, if you would. Uh, well, I... Mrs. McKee, Annabelle. I'd rather not state my purpose out here in the hallway where any one of your neighbours might be listening. Wouldn't you agree? Of course. Why, uh, why don't you step inside for a moment? Excellent idea. I promise not to take up too much of your time. I'm sure you have your hands full. So, what's the purpose of all this, Mr. Conway? I hope it's not about what we... Well, why don't you get to it? Of course. Well, it's actually quite simple. I'm sure you've heard that I was once a private investigator. Well, nonetheless, Mr. Morgan has asked me if I would look into everyone who knew Charlotte May. I see. And so you've come to look at us. Look, let me be straight. I've been an investigator my entire life, and I have a sense about people, you might say. Is that so? I don't think you or your husband have anything to hide. In fact, this might be a waste of time altogether, but I think it would put Mr. Morgan's mind at ease. If I ask some basic questions anyway. What do you say? Well, however we can help. As long as it's not too long is all. Oh, no, of course not. All I need you to do is tell me, in your own words, what you did on the night that Charlotte May was taken. Right. But I thought you... Before you begin, I'm, I'm sorry to ask, but would you mind if I used your lavatory? No, not at all. It's right behind you. Thank you. And please, Annabelle, you look worried. I'm sure you had nothing to do with it. She's lying. It's written all over her. Time to find out why. Doctor's note addressed to Annabelle.
Now what do we have here? Mr. Conway? Can I offer you a cup of tea? Yes, uh, uh, four sugars. I thought she'd never leave. Tram ticket. Annabelle clearly didn't use this tram ticket. I apologize. Where were we? Ah, yes. You were going to tell me what you were doing on the night that Charlotte May was taken. I've been thinking about it, and there's not much to say. Literally anything would help. Well, I remember it clearly. I think everyone here knows exactly where they were. It was so shocking. Uh, I'd made Theo his tea in the afternoon at about three, and wrapped it up for him to have later. He was working all day over at Levy's garage, and performing later that night. I went to the shops at some point, I think. I didn't see Charlotte May at all that day, and I was out of town for most of the night. I think the last time I saw her was on the Wednesday. She was playing outside between her homeschooling, as I recall. I'll stop you there if you don't mind. Instead of when you last saw her, I think it would be more beneficial to talk about what you and your husband were doing whilst Charlotte May was being taken. Right. I see. What time was that? You don't remember clearly. I was sitting in my flat at the time. Ten o'clock is when I first noticed something was happening. I had a good view from my window. I imagine you'd have a good view from your kitchen window also, perhaps even your pantry. Actually, Mr. Conway, I'm sorry. I feel awfully uncomfortable talking about this, without Theo here. I think it's best I don't answer anything he might object to. You're right. I completely agree. He usually takes his break around now, does he not? Perhaps. Would it be possible of you to go and get him so that we might continue the conversation? I don't think that's a good idea, Mr. Conway. In fact, I think I'd feel better if we ended the conversation here, if it's all the same to you. No, you're right. If you don't feel it appropriate, then best not to bother him. Thank you. Well, I was hoping to clear it all up today, you see. I'd hate to have to bother you tomorrow, or the day after, or even the day after that. It's not in my character to be a nuisance. However, I did promise Mr. Morgan. 
Perhaps I'll return later on. Wait. If it's not going to take too long, I could fetch him now and we could resolve the matter. Mrs. McKee, if you would do that for me, it would put Mr. Morgan's mind at ease, I'm sure. Oh, Christ. Okay, well, I think it's best you come with me. Oh, I fear I'd only slow you down. The stairs, you see. No, I'll wait here for your turn. Fine, just wait here. Now, to get that key down. It's moving. Almost there. Well, that was easier than I thought. Hmm. She never did make me that cup of tea. The police are still here. I hope Catherine doesn't see me like this. locked. Charlotte, were you in here? Give me something. Nothing useful. Looks as though they scrubbed the place clean last night.
Please let me be wrong. Bleached head to toe. I'm too late. There's, there's nothing left to see. There's still time to search the flat. Theo's room, no doubt. are too expensive to waste. Theo, all I want is a pencil. Uh, try the living room.
Something's blocking these keys from the other side. Locked. How does one open a piano front? I don't know a great deal about musical instruments, but this doesn't look expensive. Music sheets. Presumably Theo's songs. Forty-five pounds? If I were a lesser man, I'd take it and live comfortably for the rest of the year. There's no way Theo's boss pays him this much. There's a note in the fireplace on the other side. I wonder what was last written on this notepad. in the fireplace. I can't get it out with my bare hands.
I'm not getting in there without a key. Seems to be a list of medicines. Theo has a sister back home somewhere. sister. Look, if you're in there, I want to say sorry about the other night. Are you there? I love you, Annie. You know that, don't you? Everything I say, I, I say it because I want to protect you. Anyway, I'm posting the key back through the door. I love you. Nothing interesting. You can tell a lot about a person from their bedroom. This is clearly Annabelle's space.
Surely Theo's wage can't pay for all this. Expensive lipsticks. Blue mist looks brand new. Shirley and Annabelle are close sisters. I don't know what they're currently arguing about, but they seem to love each other very much. Good to know. They had a view of Mr. Morgan's home. They could have easily seen Charlotte May every day. Absolutely spotless. You'd never even know a mechanic lived here. Annabelle is obsessed with cleaning. fresh. Well, the whole place is clean. More bleach. I spoke too soon. What on earth is inside?
Is Annabelle having an affair? Clean bedding. Now what's this then? This is it. The mallet I saw Thea use last night. I've got you. Did you hit Charlotte May with this? Damn, the Marquis are coming back. Well then, what do you want me to say? I don't know, just stall him. He's been in there for ages. Why did you leave him then? Do you really want me to go through that right now? Okay, okay. Just don't say anything that he might... He might what? Well, you know how you are. <laughs> Do you really think I'm that stupid? Now shh. Let's just go inside. I'm waiting for you. Hello, Mr. Conway. Hello, Theodore. Uh, Anne says Tony Morgan asked you to investigate his daughter's disappearance? That's right, but I'm sure she's also told you that it's merely a form. I was just telling Mr. Conway he's wasting his time, because we don't know anything about it. Uh, aren't you retired, Mr. Conway? Well, I'm not here officially, Mr. McKee, just as a friend of Tony Morgan's. But I do appreciate you making the time. Well... Like Anne said, we had nothing to do with Charlotte May, so I don't know how I could help. And I don't have long, I'm afraid. Mr. Levy isn't very happy with me stepping out of work. I appreciate it all the same. Well, shall we move into the living room? Of course. Please, after you. I'll be with you in a moment. Now, please... I'd like to know what you were doing at the time of the attack, if you wouldn't mind. Maybe start at 10 p.m. 10 p.m.? Well, I was at a gig that night, so I was playing down at the Sugar Ducks, men's club. Harold, my boss, hasn't paid me for a few months, so I've had to start making money elsewhere. I remember I got home around 10, 40, I think. I went straight into my music room. I had a song in my head I just had to get out. <clears throat> so nothing to do with Charlotte May. You say you had to start making money elsewhere. A little, yes. A little? Hmm. Um, uh, like I said, uh, Harold Levy hadn't been paying me, so... Why not, if you don't mind me asking? I think he has a few money problems. It's not my place to ask, and he doesn't tell me everything. Just that he's not paying you? Sure. So how much money have you made elsewhere? Enough to get by. Well, that's all any of us can hope for, isn't it? I have trouble paying my bills myself, as you can probably imagine. You'll have to tell me your secret, where you make your extra cash. I'm sorry, what does this have to do with Charlotte May? Hopefully nothing. I'm sorry, we're off topic. You will forgive me. It's fine, Mr. Conway. Uh, should I carry on? Oh, please do. Where were we? Ah, yes. You were saying you'd entered your music room. Anyway... Uh... 
I think I was in my music room all the way up until... I'll be with you both in a second. Don't wait for me. Okay, my love. Um, I was in my room until Anne called me out. Uh, she heard a smash or something. Uh, Anne was visiting a friend that night. But I think she was back just before me. And I think she was in her bedroom. So, by all accounts, she's the one who heard it. You didn't hear the smash yourself? Uh, no. Uh, there aren't any windows in my music room. And I was writing a song at my piano. So Annabelle heard it and came in to get you? Mm-hmm. You say you heard a smash or something. Could you think back and tell me exactly what happened? Anne came in. She said, uh, something's going on outside. That I should take a look. Uh, that was when I realized she was home. Uh, and... and that's when you came out and looked. That's right. And you say you didn't know Annabelle was home yet? Like I said, I couldn't hear anything. What with my music. So she could have been home longer. I suppose, but I don't think she was. And what did you see once you were outside? Tony Morgan, laying on the floor. All our neighbors taking a look. Then the police came. Nothing else? Not Charlotte May, not the kidnapper? I spoke to you briefly. Fair enough. Please, as you were saying. So anyway, it couldn't have been Anne... Or me, you see. Because we weren't here most of the night. And in any case, the sugar ducks are a good 20-minute walk away. Uh, people would have noticed if I was missing from my gig, wouldn't you think? I, I'm sorry. I, I'm confused. Is this all you want to know? What I was doing that night? Nothing else? You say it couldn't have been Annabelle. No. She was out of town that night. She'd already paid for her tram ticket, so I said I didn't mind. Hmm, really? And she used the tram ticket? I don't understand. You say she was out of town for most of the night. Could she have been here longer than you thought? Anne didn't have anything to do with Charlotte May. Well, anything is possible. No. I'm sorry, it's not. You don't know Anne. So she's not capable of such a thing. Is she capable of deceiving you? That's my wife you're talking about. I'm not answering that. You're right. I apologize. I've overstepped my bounds. I promise you I meant nothing by it. I have to ask these things for Tony Morgan, but if you say that's not her, then I trust you, Theodore. It's fine. Please, uh, if you don't mind, could you continue with the night's events? Sorry about that. I was making sure that things were, uh, where we left them. I was just saying that Mr. Conway is wasting his time, because we were both out of town for most of the night. Isn't that right, my love? Um... You were at a friend's, weren't you? You already paid for a tram ticket. That's why you couldn't come to the gig. Well, actually, Theo, I wanted to talk to you about that, but it can wait till talk later. Talk to me about what? Tell him you're out of town. Don't you have to get back to work? Actually, I think I do have to go, Mr. Conway. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. You'll excuse me. Thank you for your time, Theodore. I wonder if what you're telling Theodore has an ounce of truth. You were at a friend's, were you? Mr. Conway, I think you've more than outstayed your welcome. I don't know why I agreed to talk to you in the first place. You must think me awfully dense if you think I don't know what you were doing while I was gone. I don't want to see or hear from you again. Do you understand? This is a job for the police, not some old has-been playing detective. Dense? No, not at all. In fact, I think you're smarter than you're letting on. 
smart enough to have your husband kill a child and then cover it up in the dead of night. Get out. Now. I think that went as well as could have been expected. From talking to the McKees, it seems apparent that they were both in Delia View at the time Charlotte May was taken. Annabelle and Theo were clearly hiding something. I observed them getting rid of a rolled up rug and saw Theo use a mallet for God only knows what. I can't currently prove it relates to Charlotte May. And a few questions still remain. I'm positive that Charlotte May was in that pantry. But can I prove the mallet was used to hit something living? Forty-five pounds is a large sum. In my experience, the kind of money made on the black market. Theo doesn't seem like someone driven by greed. So what possible motive could compel him to kidnap and sell a young girl? I need to look at every piece of evidence. Good, I thought as much. Now uh, to continue. I'm sure that some of this evidence is irrelevant. I could remove them. There. Everything left on the board is relevant.
I need to make sure I'm scouring all of the evidence. That's it. The mallet must have been used to hit something living. The crystallization proves it. Then they carried it down to the boot of a car. The only possible motive I can see is that Theo needed money to pay for his mother's medication. A life for a life. Could Theo really be that cold? I got the impression that Annabelle was in charge. It's not enough. I can't accuse them without something solid. I'll have to keep an eye on the McKees and continue my investigation. Hi, Dad. Dad? I think we need a little chat about your neighbors. The McKees? Damn. I can't let her see this after I made a promise. Now, why is this door closed? Dad, are you back there? Perhaps I should just come out with it. I don't know. Hello? No, it's his daughter. I'm afraid not. He, he must be out. I don't. I'm, I'm sorry, but... Right. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but... Good day to you too. Right. I can't stop now. Not after what I've seen. I'll just have to make sure I find something that Catherine can use in her investigation. It's the only way she'll understand. I've spent the morning watching the McKees, waiting for them to make a mistake, to do something that proves them guilty of killing Charlotte May. But what if I'm wrong? What if I saw what I wanted to and there was nothing in that rug? If I had hard evidence, I would have told Catherine already. I have nothing but suspicions. I should be looking at everyone in daily view. And Harold Levy is next on my list. Theo is working on the automobile I saw him put the rug into. I still have my eye on you. Harold is a large man. Large enough to carry a little girl and not slow him down. 
back in a bit, yeah? Don't mess up the pain wheel. It's too far away. I'll have to zoom in. Annabelle. I can't shake what I saw in your pantry. But for now, Harold is my focus. There appears to be a box of some importance under Harold's bed. Whatever it contains, he's not happy about it. Theo, I need to step out for a moment. You all right watching the shop, yeah? Okay. Harold Levy is unlocking Tony Morgan's door. Now he's entering. What is he thinking? This does not look like a social visit. What in God's name is he doing? He's attacking Mr. Morgan. zoomed in enough to see. Mr. Morgan looks petrified. Did Harold take Charlotte May? Did he attack Tony the night she was taken? Who would want to take you? And why? I've never seen him like this. Jesus! You okay, boss? Yeah. Yeah. You sure? I said I'm fine. Ah. Okay. I have to do something. I doubt Harold will welcome me in the way the McKees did, but if he can enter another man's home unannounced, well then so can I. Harold Levy is leaving his flat. My patience has paid off.
The place seems empty enough. Now to find a way into Levy's garage. inside before I can be seized. What is that smell? Damp, I think. Mr. Levy? Is anyone home? Good. I'm sure this is the hallway to Levy's flat. Let's hope he's still out.
Harold Levy has a lady friend. This is where I watched Harold from my window. I hope none of my neighbors are watching me. Someone's showering. I'd better be quiet. might be important. You never know. Hmm. Interesting. Is Harold ashamed of whomever is in the shower? He must have moved the box somewhere else. Let's see if I remember how to do this.
Still got it. Time to take a look inside. Might make a good lock pick. Curious to see what was left in his office. Now then, let's see what's been left in Levy's office. It must have something to do with him attacking Mr. Morgan. There's Harold's mail. I can't get to it from this side.
There's Levy's office. It looks like he's still out of the building. That smell again. The damp is even stronger in here. What on earth is that? It looks important. There's Harold Levy's office. I'll look elsewhere for now. Now, what's this? Wouldn't happen to be what caused the flood, would it? Levy. Please don't have taken Charlotte May.
Hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm on it. He's coming in. No, 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 I'll... I'll sort it out. No, no, oh, all right, fine. Bollocks. He's left the office door open, but now I'm stuck in here. I wouldn't trust you as far as I could throw you. Now what's this then? This is definitely the car that Theo dumped the rug into. Charlotte, please don't be inside. These all seem to be powered from here. So the fuse for the shutters is blown in the basement. Good to know.
Now what do we have here? something right This might come in handy. Explains the damp smell. The water's far too deep to wade through.
I'm going to need to hurry. Fuse is blown. Right. Time to open those shutters and get back to the office. Mr. Levy. Hello. Good. Now to get back to the office. The threat in the box said there was something in this office. Perhaps something for my evidence board. Please search. Sort it. Food, 
Nothing interesting. Old files, perhaps. Bits and bobs. Could be useful. Not what I was expecting. I'm sure Harold knows why this is so damning. Did Tony Morgan take this? Is that why Harold attacked him? Petrol. Harold's basement is far more vast than I thought. Charlotte, you're down there.
What's this? I wonder if I can knock it down. Well, I'm too close to stop now. Looks like they didn't get too far with the search. It doesn't look like they have much to go on. The pump is set to clear the basement of water. Oh, this hose needs connecting.
Now, what's this? working. And quickly, too. Damn if it's not loud. Charlotte, if you're down there, I will find you. worked. Why on earth would Harold have fluttered this? Charlotte May. Charlotte, are you down there? Cigarettes. What on earth is all this? Charlotte, can you hear me? Don't be you. It's her. It has to be. I'm too late.
What? Chemicals? I... I, I don't understand. Why? Did Harold Levy drug Chardonnay? There was a rag found at the crime scene. Is this what was on it? There's no way he would flood his own basement unless... He was scared of the police searching it. I need my evidence board. This is far too damning to ignore. So, you're going to tell me what you're doing in my garage, or am I going to have to evict you too? Ah, uh, uh, Mr. Levy, I, uh, well, I, I was just about to... Save it. What were you doing in there? Did you find what you were looking for, did you? Actually, I was looking for you. As soon as I realized you were at home, I came straight out to find you. You can rest assured. What is it you want, Mr. Conway? Well... I wanted to talk with you about Charlotte May's disappearance. Really? Uh, if you're not too troubled to help. Why the hell would I waste my time talking to you? Will you answer some of my questions or not? So it's an interrogation then? It's me asking you to help Tony Morgan find his missing daughter. Surely you want to help. Fine. I'll hear me out. What do you want? A statement, is all. Where you were the night that Charlotte May was taken. What you were doing, with whom you spoke. That kind of thing. A statement, you say? Where do you want me to begin? Tell me, if you would, what you did between 10pm and 11pm, just before Charlotte May was taken. Well... I was in my flat for most of the night, except for about 10 o'clock. I went across to the courtyard and locked up the front gate. And, you know, to keep the wrong kind of person out. Sometime after that, I heard a noise. It sounded like something strange. But I didn't know what. I guess we all know now, but... Didn't think much of it at the time. And who would you imagine is the wrong type of person? <laughs> Anyone in daily view, you mean? Yes. Well, you tell me. What kind of person do you think I should be keeping out? The ones who don't pay their rent on time, or the ones who trespass on other people's property? Uh, I'm sure I don't know what you mean, Mr. Levy. Nah, of course not. What about Mr. Morgan? What about him? Do you have a problem with him? Surely he pays his rent on time. Sorry. Landlord-tenant agreement. It's, uh, confidential. Well, I wouldn't want you to overstep your bounds as his landlord now. Glad we agree. Hmm. Uh, you were saying... Anyway... After about ten or something, I went up to my flat and uh, made a cup of tea and a sandwich. 
corned beef and onion if I remember. Then about 10.15 I ate it. I hope this is the kind of information you were looking for. I was alone all night, so I didn't do anything riveting, I'm sorry to say. You were alone all night, so no one can back up your story. No, I guess not. Do you ever have guests, Mr. Levy? No, not really. Never. Where are you going with this? Well, there's a key on the plant pot outside your door. You must have put it there for someone. And how did you find that out? Uh, well, you can see it from the outside. It's plain as day. I said I was alone that night. You don't believe me? I'm merely trying to make sense of it all. Seems simple enough to me, Mr. Conway. Shall I continue? Or was there more? Please. Anyway, around about 10.30, I was sat upstairs listening to my radio show. Kings in the Nile. Well, I had no idea what was going on outside, right under everyone's noses. <laughs> Scary, ain't it? How you could be stood right next to someone capable of... That. And you'd never know until it was too late. Well, who do you think is capable of it? We don't know what happened that night. Ain't that the point? Well, we know the attacker was capable of kidnapping a child. What else could he be capable of? He? <laughs> well, what makes you think it's a man? <sighs> No, you make a good point. But what makes you think it was a woman? And who do you think could be capable of it? God knows. Shirley or Annabelle? Shirley, maybe. You're forgetting the old bat across the way, though. Mrs. Doa. Don't let her age deceive you. Her bite's worse than her bark. Can you elaborate on that? Nah. I wish there was more I could tell you. I really do. Must have been about 10.40 to 10.50. I nodded off for a bit, because my mind's a little fuzzy on the details. The newspaper said something about the kidnapper having a key or sneaking in undetected. I think it's a load of old bollocks. And in any case, if I ever did see someone sneaking around here, they wouldn't be walking out, I can tell you. No offence. I'm curious. How could the kidnapper have come to be in the possession of a key? Now, I've been thinking about that. And there's a lot of ways someone could have got around it. If they were so inclined. Please, uh, elaborate. They could have stolen a key. Maybe they did it before and then locked the gate. Maybe they got a key copied weeks ago and then returned the original. You have put a lot of thought into that, haven't you? I've known some types in my time. You'd be amazed how resourceful some folk can be. Resourceful. Deceitful. It's a fine line to tread. No disagreement there. Right. Well, please continue. Regardless of all that, I'll tell you what I did here that night. The smash... About eleven, I'd say. That little girl must have kicked up her right old fuss. God knows how we didn't hear. That's when I turned on my floodlight. I looked out my window. I saw Mr. Morgan. Right there, laying in a puddle of his own blood. It's a wonder he didn't bleed out. I must have just missed who did it. I tell you. That blood ain't coming out my clothes any time soon. You say the blood was on your clothing? That's right. What clothing are you referring to? The shirt I was wearing that night. And why, might I ask, did you have Mr. Morgan's blood on your shirt? Well, who do you think had to clean it up? Sure as hell wasn't you long. Well, I thought the police might have done that. Yeah, well, 
You fought wrong, didn't you? I'm sorry you had to deal with that. It's my job, Mr. Conway. Yeah, of course it is. As you were. Well, other than that, I don't know what more I can say. We all get what's coming to us, don't we? Anyhow, what if it was me? What are you going to do about it? Well, for a start, I would have... Maybe I did do it. Well, maybe you did it. You could be wasting time questioning me to cover your own back. That would be a funny old turn, wouldn't it? I have to say, Mr. Levy, we've not spoken this much before, and I find you strangely heartless considering the circumstances. I had imagined you'd feel a little more sympathy for your neighbor and his missing daughter. You say you had nothing to do with it, but I can't help but think. Go on. I think you're hiding something. Something to do with Charlotte May. And when this is all said and done, Mr. Morgan will know who helped and who stood in the way of my investigation. I hope to God you had nothing to do with it. Listen to me. You think you got problems now being in that chair? You keep this kind of thing up, and you're gonna end up hurt, or worse. Is that a threat, Mr. Levy? A warning's what it is. Well, consider me warned. It's late, Mr. Conway. Piss off. During our conversation, Harold Levy was imposing, attempting to intimidate me. It's clear the man does not like me, and the feeling is mutual. I'm certain he's up to no good, and I suspect it has something to do with Charlotte May. The chemicals I found appear to match the crime scene, no question there. There are, however, some things that still remain unanswered. A threatening note in Harold Levy's flat seemed to provoke his attack on Tony Morgan. Is this related to Charlotte May? The note accused Harold of illegal activities, but what evidence here proves it? Harold said he was listening to Kings of the Nile in his flat at 10.50, whilst Charlotte May was being taken. But can I disprove his alibi?
Harold said he was listening to Kings of the Nile in his flat at 10.50, whilst Charlotte May was being taken. But can I disprove his alibi? There must be a detail I'm missing on some of the evidence. I need to make sure I'm looking at all of the evidence. I should read every detail on the evidence. I'm sure that some of this evidence is irrelevant. I could remove them. There, everything left on the board is relevant. Good. Now to sort out everything else. I need to look at every piece of evidence. So, Harold lied to me about his alibi. There was no way he could have been listening to Kings of the Nile on his broken radio. The stolen cars are worrying indeed, but don't seem to be related to Charlotte May. The chloroform-like chemical I found is my only real lead. 
You must have hidden those bottles for a reason. Ultimately, this is all conjecture. I can't prove he's taken Charlotte May. Dad? Why's the door locked? Can you let me in, please? I want to talk to you about something. Why was the bolt on? Well, what with everything? One can't be too careful. Mm, fair enough. Uh, what did you want to talk about? I've just come back from having a very interesting conversation with your landlord. Uh, Harold Levy? Really? What do you suppose he wanted to talk to me about? Well, actually, Catherine, I, I, <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you about that. So he was telling the truth. You know, he was so close to pressing charges. And it's not my job to talk him out of it. I could have been arresting you right now. Or any one of my colleagues. Whom I can assure you would not be as nice as me about it. Why? He seemed fine after I spoke to him. You trespassed and damaged his property. And, and don't try to talk your way out of it. Well... What do you want me to say? I don't know, to be honest. Why do you think he didn't press charges? Hmm? The reason he didn't want the police searching in the first place was because he was hiding what basically amounts to chloroform. The same thing he used to drug Charlotte May. He had a gallon of the stuff. I know. Well, so why don't you arrest him? It's a completely different brand. Well... Have you checked his orders? He might have switched recently. I have. Then why does he have chloroform in the first place? He uses it to dilute oils. It's a side scam to rip off his customers. You would have known that if you were working on the case, but you're not. Well, well, diluting goods is illegal too, surely. Arrest him for that and you can interrogate him. And all he'd get is a fine. And that would be the end of it. I'm sorry, but... You're not an investigator anymore, Dad. I know you want to help, but trust me, you're not. In fact, you're making my job that much harder. Catherine, I was merely trying You to... made me a promise. From now on, I just want you to honour it. I can't. Why not? I promised Tony Morgan that I would help find Charlotte May. Of course you did. Thankfully, Harold Levy didn't press charges against me. He probably didn't want the police searching any more than they had to. It confirms my suspicion that Harold is up to no good, but I can't convince Catherine to investigate further. Am I wasting my time watching my neighbours? Mrs. Doer is old and frail. Is she even capable of such a thing as attacking a man and taking his child? I made Mr. Morgan an impossible promise. But if I stopped now, it was all for nothing. zoomed in enough to see. So this is the police's base of operations. By the sounds of it, they've forgotten all about Charlotte May.
There's a light on downstairs. Mrs. Doa is still awake. And here I am, spying on an elderly lady. Might have to zoom in for a closer look. Mrs. Doe's home once looked out onto a field of dahlia flowers. Her husband built the manor house with shipping company money. Now it's surrounded by all of this. Now this is interesting. What is she doing under there? It looks like she's hiding something. But what is it? Well, that floorboard is my first port of call. It's too far away. That is probably just a cat fighting. What could she be doing in the basement? And how did she get down there? This is getting stranger by the minute. Might have to zoom in a little further. Mrs. Doer's bedroom. That big house all to herself, and she only lives in one room. How age punishes us. I'm not zoomed in enough to see. All of the searches for Charlotte May start from the crow's nest. Perhaps I should have signed up. Some good my chair would have been in the pine woods. I'd give anything to know what's in that box. Maybe it has something to do with what was hidden under the floorboard. That's my second port of call. Now she seems to be doing something. Dear God, that, that's not her at all. Mrs. Doer is in danger. Unless they're working together. I need to get a photograph of the intruder. You there! Stop what you're doing at once! I said stop! You won't get away with this! Oh, 
Whomever I saw leave Mrs. Doe's home left in a hurry. Let's hope they don't return. Now, to break in without being caught. I hope to God Mrs. Doe has gone to bed. Could be useful. Hello, Mrs. Doa. Mrs. Doe used something to pry it up. I should have been more prepared. There must be something down here I can use. It looks too hot to touch. I hope none of my neighbors are watching me right now. What would they say? Makes my small flat look like a prison cell.
basement. Damn this wheelchair. That's the box Mrs. Doer carried in. It's empty. What are you looking at? Let's hope that worked. Now, if I can find the sweet spot. This bone inlay is very ornate. Old, too. It's too dull to reflect. Just as well. I haven't slept in days.
smells old and dusty. It hasn't been used recently. The detail is outstanding. And what's this? Family tree. What on earth are you doing in my house, Mr. Conway? Uh, uh, Mrs. Doer. It's Lady Doer to you. We live in polite society, last I checked. Uh, Lady Doer, uh, let me explain. It had better be a bloody good explanation. <sighs> Go on. Uh, there was an intruder in your house. I'll say. Uh, I believed they were here for Charlotte May. I believed you were in danger, so I came over to help. And where is this so-called intruder now, Mr. Conway? I trust you tried to apprehend him. Sadly, no. So it's just you and your word, then. Your daughter is a police officer, Mr. Conway. <laughs> you should have called her. I believed your danger to be too... immediate, my lady. I was concerned for your safety. You can cut that nonsense out right away. If you were concerned about me, then you would have knocked on my door or checked on me. Instead, I come out to find you at this ungodly hour prying up my floorboards. This is clearly a matter for the police. And how, may I ask, did you know to look under there? Look, I can see you don't suffer fools, my lady, so... I'll just come out. No need, Mr. Conway. You've been spying on all of us from your window. Not very subtle, if I do say so. Uh, very uh, astute. But please, if I may, I merely came over to ask you a few questions. I suppose you want to know why I stored my belongings under the floor. I want to know why they're all children's belongings. <laughs> Charlotte May. I'm not given to the kidnapping of young girls. Why don't you just tell me what you were doing, then? <sighs> Very well. For the past few months, things have been going missing from my home. Bits and bobs, really, but as you can see, the simplest of things in this house would fetch a pretty penny. Last week, it was one of my porcelain dolls. I'm of the suspicion that my maid is stealing from me. So I hid my most cherished positions under my floorboards. I've had that silver mirror you just found since I was a small child. It's worth more than daily of you itself. Regrettably, my late husband and I... Well, we don't have a child of our own to lead these things to. I see now that I should have hidden them better. Fetch a pretty penny. Do you think your maid is stealing purely for the money? I couldn't tell you. But it wouldn't be a first, would it? I'm trying to decide whether money is a strong enough motive to abduct a child. Seems to be a theme going around here. I thought I knew her. <laughs> if you'd asked me a few weeks ago, I would have said there was no way. But now... Who is your maid, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I say maid. She is a glorified cleaner. Shirley Downs. Shirley? Your neighbour? Yes. She owns the pub next door. She needed a little extra cash, and I need in my house to stop falling apart. I see. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Has she cleaned her long? A handful of months. The upstairs, mainly. I have no interest in going up there these days. Too many memories, and I can only walk so far before my feet give in. Do you think Shirley would break into your home? The intruder I saw. Could it be her, or someone you know? You say you saw the intruder break in? Uh, well, out. They were picking the door, 
trying to lock it. Picking it? What does that mean? They had a... Trust me, they were up to no good with it. I gave Shirley a key. I'm certain she has no need to do such a thing. Hmm. Lady Doa, would you allow me to search the upstairs of your property? I believe I may be able to shed some light on the situation, if you'd permit me. We should call the police, surely. Well, they haven't found Charlotte May yet, and they don't seem to be doing much about it. How about we postpone calling them for just a short while? I do say, how Machiavellian, Mr. Conway. You ask me to lie to the police. To your daughter, no less. Not at all. Just to postpone calling. In the pursuit of knowledge. Hmm. The stair lift. I believe it still works. There should be another wheelchair up there somewhere. My late husband's. Thank you. up there for a year or two now. You will share what you find? It would be my pleasure. And Mr. Conway, there's no electricity. You might want to use the lanterns. Now, to find out what our intruder was up to. <sighs> These look like maritime telescopes, older than me. this open. I saw the intruder leave. Let's hope it stays that way. Another child's toy. A 
Are you out there somewhere? Or are you in here? I will catch you. I don't think I've seen Lady Dow smoke before now. Must be Shirley's. Now what do we have here? Lord Doa must have been a war hero. Let there be light. Oh, this has some weight to it. If I had something flat to slide down this drawer. Why on earth would they want to tear this painting? Shelley's been gathering valuables. Perhaps Lady Doa was right. This all sounds fancy. Locked. Of course it is. Doa crest. Very fancy. Mm -hmm. 
locked from the other side. Looks like I need some kind of lever to turn this. Now, what's this? Second. Let's have another look. Telescope is pointed right at Mr. Morgan's house. Was she spying on Charlotte May? The 22nd was the night that Charlotte May was taken. Let's hear what she has to say. I wonder if it has anything to do with Seddon and Sons. Hmm. Could be the year. Seddon and Sons. I've seen that name. She said it could be the year, whatever that means. I'd better try to find it. I'm not zoomed in enough to see. Ah, there you are. Now what was Shirley doing with you? By the sounds of it, she was trying to open something in this room. Lady Doe was right. Shirley's stealing from her. Now, where was I? Oh, for God's sake, Larry. 
I sent you home an hour ago. <sighs> Not your shoe. What on earth was this Larry up to? Sounds like he was a drunken fool. Let's take a look at... Um... What the hell? What did she see? Charlotte May? Well, this is moments before the attack. Now, what was she looking at that she needed for this room? Good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Shirley Downs. Pete Hill Reserve. Well, at least Lord Doer had good taste. What on earth? Charlotte May! Charlotte, are you in there? How do I lift this? This makes things quicker. Lord Deva was a hobbyist. Might help me force that lock open. Nothing useful in there. It's heavier than it looks. There's no way I can untie this by hand. Did Lord Doa model all of these himself?
up doesn't so hard. Looks like it was when Lord Doa was still alive. Doa. I never met the man. If that's the size of the model, I dread to think how big the real thing was. A marline spike. Clearly used with knots in some way. Let's see if this helps.
please let me be wrong. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is going on up there, Mr. Collins? Uh, everything's fine. I tripped on something is all. Maybe you should come back down before you... Not what I expected at all. Uh, just another moment, if you would. Very well. Lady Doa said they didn't have a child of their own. Lady Doa, you can go there. It's the room with the banging door. Lord Doa, well, that's where you go. That's the office I've just come from. Very detailed. Doa's hidden room. Genius. More interesting by the minute. This makes things quicker. My dick. She's sitting on a gold mine. Money is clearly no motive here. Looks like an adoption form. A cryptex. Looks like I need an eight digit code to open it. I wonder what's hidden inside. I should probably go and talk to Lady Doa. 
It's jammed tight. Let's hope it's in the right place. All this hidden away in a box. It belongs in a museum. My lady, I've found this. What is it? I can't see it up there. It appears to be a cryptex of some kind. Oh. Yes. It's a silly old game I used to play with one of the maids. We would pass messages back and forth and have to figure out the code. It's been many years since I've seen that. I see. By any chance, do you still have the code for it? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't or won't? Mr. Conway, I think I've been very accommodating, all things considered. Well... Can you give me a clue? I can do one better. I can give you the cipher. Uh, please, do. On one condition. Dare I ask? It's not all that bad. There's a picture in the main hall. My late husband. I haven't seen his face in some time. Would you take a picture of him for me? Lady Doa, as luck would have it, I've already taken that picture. You have? And without my permission? I thought you wanted me to. Yes, yes, very well. Here it is. We used an old code. You take the alphabet and write the first 13 letters under the next 13. Then replace the letter you have with the one underneath or above it. So... A would be an N, and D would be Q. That's right. Well, where do I find the code to translate? Mr. Conway, may I remind you that it's you up there and not I? I will say, though, the code was usually something to do with my late husband's model boats. Very well. I'll start looking around, then. So, the code is something to do with Lord Doa's boats. One of Lord Doa's models. A man of talent.
jam tight. Let's hope it's in the right place. Another key. It's for the servants' quarters. Well, that's encouraging. Death's shadow. Innocence. Charlotte May. Lady Doa? I'm no expert. But that does not look good. Appears she left in a hurry. Could be useful. It's a shame to damage something so beautiful. But I do want to open the box by the window. Oh, it could be useful.
long last. Now, what do you unlock? And why would the intruder hide you? Let's see what Lady Doa has to say about you. My lady, may I bother you again? Of course. I think I've found out what the intruder was doing. About time. Go on, then. It's a key. Looks to be quite ornate. Go on. I was hoping you could tell me. Hmm. Describe it to me. Perhaps it'll jog my memory. It has a large anchor shape. Go on. It has a copper midsection. Ah, uh, I know what that is. The basement storage key. Again, I haven't seen that for many years. I have one too somewhere. I could look for it. The basement, you say? Yes. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Mr. Conway? I just might be. Do you think it possible that Charlotte May could be in your basement without you knowing it? The very thought of it. I fear there's only one way to find out. You'll have to go to the basement. The lift won't work whilst the stair lift is activated, though. Give me a moment. Ah. <sighs> Now, you really are alone up there, Mr. Conway. Can I just remind you that... Shh. What is it? Are you expecting anyone? <laughs> Another intruder, you mean? Lady Doa, I'm serious. Oh, my. I'll go and call the police. Shh. They've locked the door. I know you're here. Come out. You're not going to get away with this. Show yourself at, at once. You can't hide. Uh, my daughter is a police officer. You're clearly out of your depth. Please, if you're here, you don't...
slot. I am coming, Charlotte. Mr. Conway, what on earth is going on? What is all that banging? I need your help. The kidnapper is down here. What? That's it. I'm calling the police. Uh, wait, no. I, I need to get into the basement. They took my key. Mr. Conway, are you insane? I'm calling the police, and that is the end of it. I think Charlotte May is here right now. Do you have that other key? Uh, I do. Uh, toss it to me. Um, I don't know. Lady Doa, please. Fine. Got you. I, I said stop. God damn this bloody chair. Charlotte, give me something. Were you here? There's something here. Then. There has to be. Oh damn! There'll be no explaining this together. After the attack against me in Lady Doa's home, I'm left questioning everything. Was it one of the McKees? Harold Levy? Or someone else? My presence is clearly getting to someone. Lady Doa was downstairs at the moment I was attacked. I can't rule her out. I need to be sure what her involvement was. Only a few questions remain unanswered. It is possible that Lady Doa and the intruder work together. Does anything here indicate that she could have helped the kidnapper?
I should read every detail on the evidence. Good, I thought as much. Now to continue. Lady Doa clearly wouldn't have kidnapped Charlotte May for money. Why else would she want to steal a girl? That's right, I'm onto something. Now, what does the rest of it mean? I need to look at every piece of evidence. There must be a detail I'm missing on some of the evidence. So, Lady Doa may have had motive after all. She lost a child and was clearly emotionally shaken by it. Though it seems like that was many years ago, and I found no evidence other than she knew how to tie knots. Not very conclusive, if I do say so. Shirley, on the other hand, was stealing from Lady Doa. She knew her way around the house and had access to many of the rooms. She also had a good view of Tony Morgan's house, and was talking about Charlotte May on the dictaphone message. Shirley, are you my attacker? Did you take Charlotte May? Robert Conway speaking. 
Dad. Uh, Catherine, uh, again, I- I'm sorry Do that you... Do you know how foolish you made me look tonight? Why don't you come over? I had to explain to my superior that my father was found in the same house that we think Charlotte May was tied up in. That the reason why we have no good footprints is because my father's tire marks are littered across an open crime scene. I'll be very surprised if I still have a job tomorrow morning. Uh, that wasn't my intention. No? You know full well why I had to. You can't just do whatever you want and think it won't affect other people. What if she'd press charges? Lady Doa gave me her permission. You could have ruined my case. It's not just your case. There are other ways to prove yourself. You can't be so blind as to think you can do it all on your own. The real test of one's character is learning when to ask for help. Jeez. And that's what you've been doing? Asking for my help? It seems as though you're hell-bent on being the one to find her. Well, the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. No, it's still very much in the tree's shadow. What are we arguing about? We both care about Charlotte May. We both want to help Tony Morgan. It's my job to help Tony Morgan. What you've done is against the law. You you said it yourself. There weren't any charges against me. you, You don't get it, do you? Your actions might have gotten Charlotte May killed. What if it was you down there? Hmm? Would you want me to stop, to respect people's privacy, to follow the law? That's not fair. Well, it's all I had. The vision of a young girl who needed my help. And all I saw was your face. Someone needed to do what had to be done, no matter the cost. But there's always a cost. Isn't there, Dad? I wish I could make Catherine understand my actions. Every time I try, I either embarrass her or myself. There's always a cost. Last night, my neighbors watched in merriment as Catherine had to rescue me from Lady Doa's basement. If the bruises on my body are anything to go by, then I'm clearly making an impression on someone in daily view. I've lost too much to stop now, but will Catherine ever forgive me? Shirley is doing something safe. I'm not sure what. Might have to zoom in for a closer look. It's too far away. My attacker fled this way last night. I wonder if the police even looked. I doubt they believed me. They treated me as if I was the suspect. Mr. Morgan, don't give up hope. I'm still looking. Might have to zoom in a little further. Looks like nobody's home. Most people are at Sunday service. I didn't peg Levy as the church-going type. Perhaps he's robbing the donation plate as we speak. I'm not zoomed in enough to see. I wonder how the searches have been going. Oh, the 
fact that I haven't heard anything speaks volumes. I know I'm right. She was down there. She had to be. Almost faded completely. It can't end like this. I'm not zoomed in enough to see. Why on earth is there a shoe on Harold Levy's roof? Wonders never cease. She's just sitting, smoking at the moment. Not really do. Hang on. She's seen or heard something. She's uh, she's got a weapon. Candlestick. That's not going to do anything. What in God's name? Is there someone inside with her? My attacker? Something smashed. My attacker is in there as I speak. alone. Trust me. I know how this ends. Turn around and leave. Shelley, be careful. Even if I leave now, I won't get to her in time. Christ. the whole place. It doesn't look like she's seen anyone. She's leaving. Good. She's safe for now, at least. God, she's been attacked. Be careful, Mr. Morgan. It might not be safe. I... Somebody call the police. Anybody, please. There's been another attack. Uh, Mr. Morgan, you take her to the hospital. I'll call the police. Right. Enough time should have passed. Maybe I can get into the crow's nest without anyone seeing me. I'll call the police when I'm good and ready. Now, 
who attacked us and what did they leave behind? This belongs to Shirley. It must have fallen off during the attack. This must be the smash I heard. What kind of a coward attacks someone from behind? Are you still here? This is where Mr. Morgan and Theo joined the search. I know you're in here. Hello. You can't hide anymore. Hmm. Well, she must have been cooking when the attacker arrived. I don't want the place burning down while I'm in it. Is anyone here? No. Well, at least I can look around without keeping an eye over my shoulder. There's a lot going on around Riverport. The town's moving on.
Hello? There's nowhere to hide this time. Oh, Jesus! I suppose you think that was funny, jumping out at me like that. You have no idea how close I was to... talking to a bloody pigeon. Now, what am I going to call you? Malcolm, you don't say much, do you? So, Malcolm, who do you think attacked Shirley and I? Well, no, you're probably right. Nothing here. I'm not sure what I was expecting. Surely. Bard means Bard. I'm glad I'm not on Shirley's bad side. It looks as though the police padlocked these doors. I doubt I'll find any keys for them. This is the smash that Shirley and I heard. I should be able to get around it. So the magnetic door can be turned off with the breaker switch in the delivery room.
prices are steep. It's a wonder she has any customers at all. Well, probably nothing inside it, but worth a look all the same. Looks like a staff note. Well, they haven't hooked up all the beer taps by the sound of it. I have an idea where to look, at least. Let's see. Larry sounds like a charming fellow. So this is what the police call looking for Charlotte May. This is why I don't gamble. Those must be the keys that Note mentioned. I wonder how to get them down. Got you.
This will come in handy. Catherine's trying her best to fit in. Have a use for you. Could be useful. Police Evidence Board? What? 
the McKees hit a dog. It, it makes sense. And Levy was diluting oils, among other things, and Catherine said as much, and I didn't listen. I should look a little closer at this. I wonder what she told them about me. That must be an embarrassment to her. All the more reason to find that little girl and prove myself. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. And they're just as clueless to who took her as I am. Circumstantial? Damn the law. They know full well what they found. They're just not allowed to act on it without more evidence. So, he's guilty after all. Just not for the abduction of Charlotte May by the looks of things. I hope they get that warrant soon. It looks like they have a fine coming that way. Poor dog. No wonder they tried to hide it. And what's this? Evidence I haven't seen. No wonder I'm pulling at straws. Well, just as I thought. This was smashed during the attack. Some of my neighbors claim to have heard it. There was something here. Why have they removed it? Well, that's what I have too. Shirley thinks that this Larry fellow could have been involved. He sounded too drunk when I heard him. This is good stuff. The place is a gold mine for my evidence board. They're busier than I thought. Catherine's been working hard. Looks like this note's been flagged by an officer. 
She gets more and more interesting every time. Basically what the newspaper... Oh, who would be calling on a Sunday morning? That might be worth answering. Hello, the crow's nest. Oh, thank God. I was worried Shirley might answer. My name's William Crow. Uh, yes, Mr. Crow. What is it I can do for you? I'm sorry, officer. I, I wanted to speak to one of you yesterday, but I lost my nerve. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm the pub owner of the Crow's Nest. Really? I thought that Shirley was the owner. <laughs> no, 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 she has a habit of telling people that, but she just manages the place. Is that so? Can I talk to you about something? Officer? Uh, well, I... Uh, listen, I don't want Shirley to get into trouble, but I, I've got to get it off my chest. Go ahead. <sighs> well, I saw her do something yesterday whilst I was locking up. Go on. Oh, God. She took something from your evidence room. I don't know what, and I don't care to find out, but I can tell you where she put it. I think that that would be a good idea, son. You promise me she won't get into any trouble? I'll have a word with her and leave it at that. As long as you tell me where it is, I, I, I think we're all good, Mr. Crow. <sighs> Thank you, officer. You're a good man. Yeah, so, where do I look? The pillar that Officer Foster put his fist through the other night. You know the one? Uh, uh, yes, and again, we're sorry. About the mess. Hey, I'm a sore loser at darts myself. I just hope his hand's okay. Anyway, we, we put up a poster to cover the hole, so that's where she hid it. Uh, Mr. Crew, could you do me a favor and stay on the line whilst I check? Uh, sure thing. So there's a poster covering a hole in a pillar. So Mr. Crow was right. Shirley stole this from the police evidence room. What on earth was she thinking? This does not look like the behavior of an innocent woman. I'd better tell him that I found it. Mr. Crow? You found it? Yes. Thank you very much for coming to us with this. You're welcome. And between you and me, I think Shirley's up to something. I don't want the pub's good name dragging through the mud if I'm right. Well, you did the right thing. Good. Oh, and she obviously found a way into your case rooms. Don't ask me how. If you need a place to store any evidence, then you can use my locker in the room just to your right. Not sure how safe it is for you, but it's something. That's very kind of you. I think I will take that coat. Uh, sure thing. It's 8068. You've been a great help to us, Mr. Crow. Thank you again. My pleasure, officer. And please, go easy on her. Good day, Mr. Crow. Good day. Impersonating an officer. I'm going to burn in hell for that one.
Right, I've done that. A spare pipe of some kind. Way ahead of you. Attached. What next? Handle of some kind. There must be something to do with the pub. That sounded like a good strong click to me. Turned and on. I'm a natural.
This looks like the stock delivery I've just destroyed. I hope it wasn't too expensive. Now, let's see if those office doors have opened. Shirley is after something for Annabelle's birthday. She has everyone convinced that she owns the place. She's a compulsive liar. Annabelle, 30 this year. Shirley isn't very organized. Well, I don't have to guess what she wanted from him. People really are moving on. Hmm. I thought I saw you come in here. Mr. Morgan. What on earth are you doing, Mr. Conway? I'm looking for Charlotte May. I told you I'd stop at nothing to find her. Indeed you did. And you breaking into Shirley's pub is your way of doing that? Do you really want to know? I'm not sure I do. Though I could ask you the same thing. What are you doing here, Mr. Morgan? Well, when I saw you come over here, I... I, I couldn't do it any longer. Do what? <sighs> Let other people act for me. Sit on my bottom whilst my daughter... It's a father's responsibility to protect his child, and I... I should have... Mr. Morgan, not everybody is cut out for this. It's fully understandable if you're not. Well... Uh, you see what I mean? You can't bring yourself to say it. I'm a coward, and it's shameful. I don't think you're a coward. Then tell me what I can do. Let me prove it to you. Let me help in some way with... What is it you're doing exactly? You can help by 
making your way back home and letting Robert please very well the flat upstairs obviously I can't search it myself so perhaps you can shed some light up there thank you and please you only have to say if I'm putting you out. We will need to hurry, Mr. Morgan. Understood. Oh, by the way, how is Shirley Downs? Has she been treated? Yes, the doctor said she was fine. She'll be released later today. Did she say who attacked her? No, she didn't say. Damn. Uh, well, uh, thank you for that, anyway. That's fine, Mr. Conway. So what am I looking for up here? Uh, anything that looks interesting or out of the ordinary, I suppose. I'm not sure if this counts, but, but there's a locked door up here. Uh, what's so strange about that? Well... It's locked, but there's no keyhole. Hmm, that is strange. A anything else? There's a panel on the side, if that helps. It looks like it might open somehow. Perhaps. Uh, leave it with me. I'll find a way in. This soldering iron might come in handy. What's this then? Switches. I've already found those. Let's see if the switch is a... Mr. Morgan? Yes? Try that door again. I think I might have cracked it. It's open. How did you do that? I have my ways. Could you tell me what's inside? It's a safe. I thought as much. Probably the pub takings, I would imagine. Probably, yes. I'll keep it in mind. Let me know if you find a key for it. I will do. Mr. Conway? Yes? This all feels a little... Uh, well... 
Now that I'm here, I feel a little uncomfortable doing this. Well, do you want to find your daughter? Uh, I'll keep looking. Shell is a thief. I don't feel bad about this at all. Something opened in this room. Mr. Morgan? You can call me Tony, you know. Oh, of course, I'm sorry. There's a music box down here. It's identical to her sister's. Is there anything up there that I might be able to use as a pick? Uh, okay. What would I need to look for? Uh, uh, something small enough to fit into a lock. Uh, like a small screwdriver? Smaller than that. Like a needle I can bend or a, a piece of wire. Where would you like me to begin? Uh, bear with me one second. I should use the blueprint on Shirley's desk to guide Mr. Morgan. It has the whole of the upstairs mapped out. Hmm. This is where I've been searching. The upstairs is in the top right. I'm ready to guide you. Are you ready to look? Okay, I'm ready. Are there any shelves? Not really, no. I'll tell you what, though. There's a birthday card up here, half written. What does it say? You, you want me to read it? Well, yes. Uh, okay, it's for Annabelle. The, the gist of it is, she's turning 30. She's the best sister ever. Mum would have been proud, and so on. Hmm. She loves her sister. Is the wardrobe unlocked? Looking now. There's a coat hanger. Perfect. Uh, can you throw it down to me? Will do. Can you come to the stairs? I I'm ready. Okay. Got it.
That worked. Oh, good. Anything useful? I'll let you know. Anything on your end? No. Not yet. By the way, I, I saw you last night with the police. What was all that about? You mean the police haven't told you? Told me what? For God's sake. It's probably nothing, but I thought that Charlotte May may have been in Lady Doa's home. What? You saw my Charlotte? Uh, no, and I may very well have been mistaken. I don't understand. You? Why didn't the police tell me? Uh, they mustn't have found enough evidence. Well, they didn't believe me. Do you think she was... There. Perhaps. But I have no proof. I'm sorry. That's why I'm continuing my search. Is everything all right? Let's carry on, Mr. Conway. I think that safe might be important after all. Really? How does it open? Uh, I, I did look, but give me a second. Uh, it, it takes a key of some kind and there's a dial for a combination. Do you have anything to use as a pick? I gave the hanger to you. I, I can get another one though. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to throw you something. All right. I'm at the stairs waiting. I don't know my own strength. Uh, not to worry. I can see it. Thank you. Right. I'll try and find a code. Shirley is after something for Annabelle's birthday. I'll give this a go. One. Nine. Two. Six. That didn't... I'll give this a go. One. Nine. Two. Four. We're in. Well, at least the combination worked. I still have no idea what to do with this thing you threw to me. We're going to pick that lock, Mr. Morgan. Okay. Uh, and how on earth does one start that? You see the hairpin? I do. Well, put that to one side. The other thing you have is called a tension wrench. Okay. Insert it into the lock near the bottom. Uh, I've done that. Now, this next part requires some patience. Oh dear. Put the coat hanger above the wrench and put it to the back of the lock. We're going to navigate around the lock by feel. I'm not sure this is something I can do, Mr. Conway. Yes, you can. Just try to be slow. Okay.
last. I'm sorry it slipped out. Not to worry. Just start again. Mr. Conway, I really don't think I can do this. Trust me. Yes, you can. Fine, I'll try again. First one down. You need to move the pig to the back of the lock. There are probably around three or four things to pick before you're done. Keep going. Thank you. Second pin down. Keep going. You're doing well. That's three down. You're almost there. Thank you for your patience, Robert. Let's try again. All right. I don't believe it. You did it. It's open. Well done. Right. Uh, uh, let's take a look inside. My dear God. I think this might be what you were looking for. This is hair. Maybe dried blood, too. Does this mean I don't understand what's the matter it's the weapon with blood on it did you know this was here I can assure you I did not then what does this mean mr. Conway it could mean anything it's best not to jump to conclusions at least until I've had a chance to examine it further let me take a look Perfect fit. Where is my daughter, Mr. Conway? You promised you'd find her. Mr. Morgan, let's find out together. After searching Shirley's pub, it's clear to me that she's a person of questionable morality. The glass shard that the police found matched the small telescope perfectly. I'm positive it was the weapon used to hit Tony Morgan, but I have found no trace of Charlotte May. This is my last chance. I need to know a few more things before I accuse Shirley of anything. Shirley used Lady Doa's telescope to spy on the Morgans. Is there any evidence that places her in Lady Doa's home on the night that Charlotte May was taken? The only proof of an intruder at Shirley Downs' pub was a glass they may have smashed during the attack. Is it possible that there was no intruder? Is it possible the glass could have smashed in some other way? I have taken some excerpts from the police report I found. Can I use them to connect Shirley to the kidnapping? Shirley used Lady Doa's telescope to spy on the Morgans. Is there any evidence that places her in Lady Doa's home on the night that Charlotte May was taken?
There must be a detail I'm missing on some of the evidence. Good, I was right. Now, on to the next. Good, I thought as much. Now uh, to continue. That's it. By the police's account, Shirley had access to the same type of rope and chloroform of a sort. Match that with the telescope as an attack weapon, and I think I have all the means I need. I can even place her at the window, watching over Charlotte May just minutes before she was taken. I spent so much time looking at the McKees and Harold Levy. It's Shirley. It has to be. Dear God, I hope I'm not too late. Time to gather my neighbors and share my suspicions. Put an end to this once and for all. I was reaching the end of my investigation. No idea if Catherine could even look me in the eye. I'd promised Tony Morgan I'd find his daughter, and I'd betrayed my own in the process. Perhaps I should have listened to Catherine and left the investigation to the police. Perhaps Tony Morgan didn't need my help. Perhaps I'd failed everyone. Only time would tell, and Shirley Downs held the key. Catherine, thank you for coming. What do you want, Dad? I told you I didn't want to... I promise I'm not wasting your time. What do you want? Please, come inside. I have something you'll want to see. You'll forgive me if I don't believe you. Then why did you come? It's my job to follow up all leads. Then please... I'll show you what I've been working on these past few days. These past few days you promised me you weren't investigating again. Please don't humiliate me, Dad. Well, here he is, the main event. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming. I imagine you share some notion of why I asked you here. In short, to discuss the disappearance of Charlotte May, and also to apologize to each and every one of you. I'm sure you know by now that I've been investigating every possible area of her disappearance, and that has meant looking closely at Daily View. You mean spying on us? A crude interpretation, but yes. That's illegal. Surely. I've broken no laws. Uh, I can assure you. That we know of? This is an invasion of privacy. You're a police officer. How can you let him do this? It's not illegal to ask questions, Mrs. McKee. What about breaking and entering? How'd you feel about that? 
Hey. Are you pressing charges, Mr. Levy? I don't know why there's all this fuss. We still need to address the fact that there's an attacker at Let large. Let Mr. Conway speak. I'd rather like to see where this is going. Well, with my apology out of the way, let's talk about what I've uncovered. Annabelle and Theo. The two of you clearly have problems of your own to work through. The very nerve of you, Mr. Conway. And you should have reported that dog that you hit with the car. It would have saved a lot of time, and perhaps we would have found Charlotte May by now. But I have no reason at all to think you could have taken Charlotte May. I could have told you that if you'd asked. I have nothing more to say to the two of you. Harold Levy, you don't like me very much. I can live with that. You said it yourself. As long as I pay my rent on time, we won't have a problem. In the future, it might do you well to extend that courtesy to neighbors going through certain hardships. But not every problem can be solved with your fists. I believe you owe Mr. Morgan an apology. What's he talking about? God knows. Other than that... I found nothing to think you capable of such a terrible act as kidnapping a girl. I have nothing more for you. Oh, that was a waste of time, then. Lady Doa, I thank you for permitting me to search your home. But on reflection, you really should pay more attention to whom you employ to clean your estate. Hmm. Hindsight is a blessing. I don't think you had anything to do with Charlotte May's disappearance. It's a shame that your home was violated in such a way. Again, I extend my apologies that you've been dragged into this. Water under the bridge, Mr. Conway. And finally, we come to Shirley Downs, the second victim of our unknown perpetrator. A completely innocent bystander the night that Charlotte May was taken. The perfect alibi. Were it not all based on lies and deception? Well, then... What? No, you... You all saw what happened to Shirley, me. please. Let us dispense with the song and dance. Shirley? What is he talking about? I have no idea, Annabelle. I can assure you of that. Just what on earth are you getting at, Mr. Conway? <laughs> I bloody know it. You've always been a dark horse. Shut up. I had nothing to do with Charlotte May's disappearance, I promise you. Mr. Conway, I think you might have made a mistake. Catherine, would you mind? Please, I think it's time we talk to Miss Downs alone. Could we have the room? I, I think I should stay. She's my sister and she needs Mrs. my... Mrs. McKee, please. Everyone, in fact, leave now. I think it's best you leave too, Mr. Morgan. But don't worry, I'll update you later on this evening once I know more. <laughs> Shirley, I... I'll be fine, Annabelle. They're making a huge mistake. Just do as the police officer says. I'm afraid that means you too, Mr. Levy. No way. I would have missed this if you paid me. Get out, you fool. <sighs> this is what you wanted, was it? How very disappointing. Good work, Mr. Conway. Shirley, please take a seat. Now, where should I begin? Look, I, I don't know what this is about, but I think you made a huge mistake. I'm sorry. Catherine, is it? Can you talk some sense into him? I think we should hear what he has to say. Oh, this is ridiculous. If you have nothing to hide, then surely you'd relish the chance to prove your innocence. You watched me get attacked. That proves that the kidnapper is still out there. Well, let's start there then, shall we? 
What's that supposed to be? Why don't you tell me? It was found in your pub. So what? Lots of people drink there every day. Glasses smash. I don't know what's special about a piece of glass. Hmm. It sounds plausible. <sighs> well, there you have it. Well, then Mr. Crow didn't seem to think so. He told me you took it from the police evidence room. <laughs> Prove it. I intend to. I'm sure Mr. Crow will be willing to testify. Well, let's move on. What do you have to say about this? You, you've been watching me. Annabelle was right. This is an invasion of privacy. Well, isn't that what you wanted? What are you talking about? Well, for someone to see your charade. Well, this the whole business with the so-called intruder. You set the whole thing up. <sighs> what a ridiculous thing to say. How could I have? Why would I? You did it so that Tony Morgan would see you as the victim, and therefore not as his attacker. I saw you too. I'll admit, you were very convincing. This is all in your mind, Mr. Conway. You... you have no evidence at all. Well, we'll see. Let's continue, shall we? How will you explain this, I wonder? Perhaps you want to explain how you found that, without breaking the law. Uh, well, uh, I'm sure it will come to that. But for now, we're talking about you. You have nothing to say? There's no getting around this, Shirley. <sighs> You're not listening. It wasn't me. <sighs> well... I suppose that's that. Catherine, is what you've heard enough to arrest Miss Dance? I'm sorry, it's not conclusive enough, I'm afraid. Well then, I suppose I was wrong. I should have gone with my gut and accused Annabelle. <laughs> what? Again, I'm sorry I've wasted your time. Catherine, can you see if Annabelle is still close by? Wait, Mr. Conway. <sighs> What could you possibly think Annabelle has to do with this? Well, I shouldn't discuss this with you, but all those late nights whilst Thea was gigging, no one able to verify her whereabouts. And then, of course, there's the matter of the, uh, well, like I said, I shouldn't discuss this with you. I apologize, Miss Downs. Let's see if we have enough to arrest your sister. Wait. <laughs> What is it? For God's sake. I, I hid the telescope in my safe, but I was hiding it for someone else. The truth, Shirley. All this conversation is over. Okay, I hit Mr. Morgan, but I swear I thought he was someone else. I'll see what your sister has to say about that. I'm telling you the truth. Annabelle had nothing to do with it. Where is Charlotte May? I didn't take her. That's why I hid the telescope in the first place. So the police wouldn't suspect that I took her. That um, makes no sense whatsoever. I didn't take Charlotte May. Uh, so let me get this straight. And it's very important that you're clear. You faked the attack against you. <sighs> yes. I needed people to know that the kidnapper is still out there. I couldn't come forward and say what I'd done because people would think I took Charlotte May. You took the shard of glass from the police evidence room? Well, well yes, because it proved that I hit Mr. Morgan. But I thought I was hitting Harold Levy. The telescope is the attack weapon. I... Uh, I took it from Lady Dewa's hallway. I saw my sister having an affair from Lord Dewa's window. I was angry. I, I... I overreacted. You attacked Tony Morgan. I already told you. I thought I was hitting Harold Levy. He was kissing my sister, Annabelle. A married woman. Theo's wife. I don't think even you can separate the truth from the lies anymore. I'm not lying, Mr. Conway. You took Charlotte May that night. I did not. Then you put her in Lady Doa's basement. Why? I'm not saying another word. You knocked me from my chair and then staged the attack on yourself to throw me off the scent. 
That's all in your head. Where is Charlotte May? Is that enough to arrest Miss Downs? I believe so, yes. Then I think I've heard just about all I need to. Catherine, may I have a word? Well, it looks like you were onto something after all. Yes, it looks that way. Let's wrap this up then, shall we? Wait a moment. You see now what I was doing, what I had to do. I do. Well then, what's wrong? With a little more time, Shirley will tell us where Charlotte May is. You can arrest her. This is a good thing. You lied to me. You betrayed my trust after you promised me. I'm so glad that you were right. I, I really am, but that doesn't change how you did it. Catherine, we did it. You and I. I listened to what you said, and I truly am sorry. There were moments where I knew I was crossing a line, but I did it. You've told me already. And I meant it. Please... I'm going to update Mr. Morgan later on and tell him what we found. It would mean a lot to me if you were by my side. What do you say? I don't think so, Dad. I'm sorry. Catherine, please. Miss Downs, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the abduction of Charlotte May Morgan and an attempt to obstruct an active and ongoing police investigation. You don't have to speak anything you do say might be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand your rights? Shirley has confessed to almost everything I've thrown at her, but She's refused to give me the location of Charlotte May. I hope to God she's still alive. It's out of my hands and up to Catherine now. I've reached the end of my investigation. But at what cost? I promised Mr. Morgan I'd return this brooch when I found Charlotte May. The news of Shelley's arrest will have to do for now. Now that all's said and done, I suppose I should tidy all this away. They were all innocent. Every one apart from Shirley. How did she manage to hide who she really was from everyone? Even her sister. I was hoping to return to Mr. Morgan with his daughter. Not this hollow gesture. I used to roam these halls and wonder what kind of neighbors lived around me. Now I know all too well. How will Mr. Morgan take the news, I wonder? He's been through enough.
No sign of Catherine. She's not coming. Hello, Mr. Conway. Uh, Mr. Morgan, uh, how are you? Uh, as well as can be expected, I suppose. I, I have to say, I wasn't expecting you so soon. I apologize. I, I thought you might want an update regarding Shirley Downs. Of course, yes. Uh, uh, why don't you step inside for a moment and, uh, well, please come in. You can leave your things down there if you like. Thank you. Please. You were saying? Uh, yes. In short, it went well. She confessed? Oh, uh, well... Uh, not to all of it, but I have reason to believe she's confessing right now in police custody. She confessed to hitting you over the head and to pretending she was attacked. We found the weapon and, well, the list goes on. What about my daughter? She refused to admit it. She was adamant. But y you said she confessed to hitting me. Well, there's more to the story, I'm afraid. She swears blind that she thought she was hitting Harold Levy. What? Uh, okay, I, I don't know what that means. I agree. It doesn't make any sense. Where is my daughter, Mr. Conway? Mr. Morgan, I, I won't stop until I find her. Uh, I'm sorry. That was unfair of me. I understand. And it's me who has to apologize. I, I told you I would find your daughter, and until now I've failed you in that matter. I don't blame you. you you've done all you can. I'm sorry. Where are my manners? Please, come and sit through here. Perhaps you'd like a cup of tea, Mr. Conway. Four sugars, am I right? Uh, yes, that's right. Please, uh, make yourself at home. I'll be back momentarily. Uh, thank you, uh, I will. How long have you lived in Daily View? It must have been before I moved here. Uh, yes, uh, about four years or so. I remember the day you moved here. I should have introduced myself then. I, I'm sorry about that. Not to worry. I should have done the same. Oh, um, that reminds me. I've brought the brooch back that I found at the crime scene. Thank you so much. I hope it was of some use. What on earth? This isn't Charlotte May. It's a different girl altogether. Wearing Charlotte May's brooch. Another girl. Jesus, what is this? Mr. Morgan, what have you done? Um, I said I hope the brooch was of some use. Uh, yes. I mean, no. I wasn't able to connect it to anything. 
Is everything okay, Mr. Conway? You seem a little out of sorts. Yes, I'm fine. Uh, I uh, don't think I'll have that tea after all. I'm sorry to put you out, but I remembered I have to hand over all of my findings to Catherine. She'll probably be waiting for me. She was six when that picture was taken. Is that so? Hmm. Such an innocent age, wouldn't you say? Charlotte wouldn't have known what real danger was back then. Not like you and I. Well, we all have to grow up at some point, don't we? Oh, you'll excuse me, but I, I really must be. Are you sure you're okay, Mr. Conway? I can't help but feel your discomfort. Is it something I've done? Like I said, I'm probably keeping Catherine waiting, is all. You know, I thought that I was careful enough, but the way you think, you really are very clever, Mr. Conway. To your detriment. It's funny. <laughs> I spent the past few days wondering who on earth would attack me. I was as confused as everyone else. Turns out it was all just a misunderstanding. Have you ever heard anything so unlikely? I was going to leave town that night. I'd left her in Doe's basement. Things were almost in place. I was putting the rubbish out and then well, and then Shirley Downs. She's still alive, isn't she? I really am glad you decided to investigate. The mystery was eating me up inside. You know, I watched you work these past few days. Watched as you pulled our neighbors' lives apart piece by piece. Getting to work with you at Shirley's pub and seeing you before that at Lady Doe's house. It was very exciting. It's funny, I felt that if I could just reach out. Of course, I couldn't. From what I remember, you reached out with your fist. You almost caught me that night, you know, in Lady Doa's basement. You were so close, but still so far. <laughs> you know, I've never had to go back and check before. But after you promised me you'd find her, I had to think on my feet. She cried when she saw me. I suppose she was seeing me for the first time in many ways. She? You mean the girl that uh, some other poor child you've taken? Where are her real parents? Why did you do this? Charlotte May was six when she... You see, after so many years... Well, they stop looking like children, don't they? Dear God. So she was too old to remind you of the real Charlotte May. And that's why... This really isn't your first time. The first time I did this, my hands were shaking. I was a mess, Mr. Conway. I'd have been embarrassed just to be in your presence. 
You sound as though she means nothing to you. She means everything to me. Have you lost your mind? I think our little talk is over, Mr. Conway. Believe me, I don't want to do this, but you leave me no choice. I, I don't think you will kill me. You didn't tie that little girl up for no reason. If you were simply a murderer, you wouldn't have left her alive down there. There has to be something more to you. What makes you so sure? I... I think you wanted to see her as Charlotte May. You wanted to believe it, right up until the end. Well, you've got it all figured out, haven't you? What happened to the real Charlotte May? You have a daughter, Mr. Conway. You know how it is. It's your responsibility. Your duty to protect them, no matter what. Oh, Tony. What happened? I must have left the balcony door unlocked. I took my eyes off her for just a second. We lived on the fifth floor. Oh, Tony, I'm so sorry. Perhaps we should talk about it. You can tell me about her. If you let me go, I'm sure I... I don't I... think so, Mr. Conway. I've complimented you on your intellectual prowess. Please don't insult mine. Fine. Where is the girl now? She's quite safe. Mr. Morgan, at least tell me... What's the girl's real name? Sophie Marling, if I recall. It was all over the papers, although I tried not to look. Funny. It made the front page for a week. One week, Mr. Conway. Then I think some football team won a game somewhere and the world moved on. Makes you think, doesn't it? What would the real Charlotte May think of you? You won't speak her name again. Do you think she'd be proud of what you've done? Please, stop. What about this girl? Everyone's looking for her. You can't get away with this. Mr. Conway, you've already arrested Shirley. No one is going to find her, and no one is going to find you. Now, please stop. You're beginning to make me rather uncomfortable. Jesus, you wouldn't want her to remember you this way. None of that matters. Now please, try to keep still. Please, don't do this. You're a reasonable man, Mr. Morgan. I know you don't want to do this. Believe me, I've tried to change what I am, but I can't. Mr. Morgan, I would very much like to speak with you. Oh, for God's sake. Uh. Like father, like daughter. Not a word, Mr. Conway. The anesthesia should kick in shortly. Ah, hello, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I wondered if I might speak with you and my father. Uh, yeah, help. Your father? Are you expecting him? I thought he might already be here. He said he was going to talk to you about Shirley Downs. May I come in and talk Please to our options? Please don't hurt her. Um, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Okay, uh, that's fine. I, Catherine, help. I can come back tomorrow. You know what? With everything that's going on, I'm not... Yes. Well, it's him. I think that would be a good idea. Um, tomorrow morning... Lunchtime, perhaps. If you Save think yourself. you can wait until then, I'm sorry to bother you so late. P please don't apologize. Uh, we'll talk tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Wait. If you haven't seen my father, then why is his camera in the house? And his bag? Mr. Morgan? Oh. <coughs> 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 
Do you know where Catherine is? Catherine! Dad, are you okay? I'm fine. Thank God you are. I... I thought the worst. I did too. What happened here? I mean, what on earth did I walk into? If I'm honest, I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Shirley was telling the truth. It appears so. We searched the house. We'd ruled him out. Is he...? No. He's alive. He's been taken to the station. We want to know if he's done this before. Uh, I'm afraid you won't like the answer. Oh, my God. That could have been you. It could have been either one of us. Dad, listen, I... No, Catherine, I'm sorry. I am too. It's funny, I... I came back tonight because... Part of me knew I should have listened to you, but I just wanted to prove to myself that I didn't need any help. The apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. I need to ask, did you find Charlotte May? Is she... Follow me. Charlotte, this man is Robert Conway. He's been looking for you for days. Are you okay, my dear? You're safe now. You don't need to be scared anymore. Catherine here is going to take good care of you. I'll just be a moment. I I'll come back. Don't worry. She hasn't said a word since we found her. She thought that Tony Morgan was her real father. She didn't even know that... It, it doesn't bear thinking about. So, what do we do now? She doesn't have a home. Oh, that reminds me. 
Her real name is Sophie Marling. You can look through the papers or make some calls for that name over the past few years. That's a great place to start. I imagine you'll want to come along and help. Uh, no, no. I... Perhaps it's best to leave this up to the professionals. I'd like it if you were by my side. I'd like that too. 